Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're at the Grand Tetons National Park in Wyoming. And today what we have for you are some of the don'ts when you come here to visit the National Park. And the first thing I want to tell you is don't be afraid to go a little bit off the road because there's this nice ring road you can go around but there's a lot of turnoffs where you might want to go see Cunningham Cabin or you might want to go see another outlook point. So don't be afraid to go a little bit off road and I'm not saying that go off the road into dirt but you will see some dirt roads. You will need to make sure that you're on roads that are open the time of year you're there so do have a heads up now my next note for you is don't mess with the animals when you're here we've seen bison jams we've seen bison jams because people stop to look at the bison we've seen moose you also when you're driving around they have hey don't mess with the bears and make sure your stuff is packed away because you do need to be careful when you're here in the Grand Tetons because there is a lot of animals around here and they may look cute and cuddly but they're not cute and cuddly to the tourists when you get up close and personal with them so be careful now another thing I think is important when you come to Grand Tetons is don't wing your trip like don't just wing it don't just go oh we're gonna go there and just drive around make sure you're researching beforehand which pull-offs you want to go to which places have the nice views you want to be at where's the place you want to stay because in the summertime Time, these things book out so you really should plan your visit beforehand because there's some nice lodges you can stay at you can go stay at Jackson if you want there's a lot of great places but you do need to make sure you're booking ahead and planning ahead not just showing up okay because it could cause some problems and you can miss great views as well now if you want to go out and see some of those beautiful animals when you do come here my next don't for you is don't sleep in look the animals are out more during the morning times now you'll see animals during the day too it's okay but in the morning they seem to be out out more and about and you can see them better and it can make for a much more enjoyable wildlife experience so don't sleep in also don't sleep in too much because when the tourists really start coming during high season June July August you're gonna have a lot of people taking up all those parking spots so you can actually get a nice view you might have to wait until one of the spots open so starting earlier really does make things a lot easier for you now my next don't for you is don't forget to bring your good camera with a telephoto lens look this is just nice little backgrounds here it's beautiful but if you want to see those animals you can't get too close to them remember about a hundred yards minimum for those bison 25 yards for other wildlife and if you have that telephoto lens you can really get in close I know I got a nice video of this bison just kind of playing around in the dirt and it was just so cool but it's because I had the good camera with a good lens now you can get a lot of pretty pictures and, and video with your phone but I think coming here is one of those times it's worth it to have the good camera with the long lens. And I know I'm talking about all this natural beauty and this wonder that's here. Don't think it's just staring at beautiful landscapes and mountains and rivers and stuff like that. No. Yes, there is the wildlife, but there's things you can do when you are here. You can go down to Jackson. There's a playhouse there and you can see some theater stuff. You have all kinds of bars and restaurants. You can go whitewater rafting. You can do a lot more than just drive around and take pictures. There's all kinds of hiking trails you can go on and it is really, really cool. And that reminds me of the next don't I have for you. Don't go off the trails. The reason why they have the trails there and they have them marked is to keep you safe. Because you go off the trails, bad things can happen. They do that to help you stay safe. And when you are out and about, if you're one of those drone people, another don't I have for you, don't bother bringing your drones here. You're not allowed to use the drones in the national parks. So don't get yourself in trouble just leave it at home now my next don't for you has to do with your outfit and that is no matter what time of year you come here don't forget to bring layers look we're here in the fall and it's like oh it's so hot right now but guess what this morning we woke up it was in the 40s and it's in the 75s 80s right now so you need to make sure you're bringing layers because when you start out it might be cool later in the day you might be like oh I wish I had shorts and a t-shirt and that's how it is a lot of times of the year even in the summer, 4th of July, it's not unheard of that sometimes there's snow up on there, right? So you got to be careful. Make sure you're dressing appropriately. And if you're driving around, have some extra blankets, have some extra food and water and stuff in your car just to make things a little bit easier on your drive around. Because my next don't for you is don't think that you're going to be able to pick up a lot of supplies and snacks and water and food and, and things like that when you're going through the park. Now, there are a few places, a few lodges you can stop at in the park to grab some stuff, but I do recommend fill up your gas tank before you come in, fill up your cooler and all those things. Make sure you can also keep your food sealed and things like that for the bears and things like that. If you're going to be camping, have that stuff ready, but just know it's going to be a little bit harder finding some of those snacks and treats and drinks when you're in the park. So as you can see, we're here in this beautiful bright sun and we're also at high altitude. So my next don't for you is 
don't forget to bring some sun protection, whether it's a hat, sunblock, whatever you're gonna use, make sure you have some to kind of protect yourself because you might not feel it because it's not super hot, but you will get burned when you're here, so do be careful. And I think another thing with that altitude, when you're up here in Wyoming, Wyoming's pretty high up, and when you're in Grand Tetons, I mean, you're between six and maybe up to 10 or 12,000 feet, and that altitude, your first day, It might be a little hard to breathe sometimes just because the altitude. So give yourself a little break that first day or two. Just, just get acclimated before you do big hikes or anything like that. And my last little don't here is don't expect to have full cell service throughout the park. I know when you're in the main parts, you're going to want to post your Instagram pictures of these beautiful views, but sometimes you might have to wait a bit. And so just be ready that maybe you're not going to be able to have that 5G, 4G, 3G service throughout the park. So be smart. Have yourself one of the maps. When you come through into the park, you know, you, you have buy your pass. We have the annual pass for the America the Beautiful Pass so we can go to all the parks. But when you pay to get in, they'll offer you a map. Take the map just so you're okay. So I hope this video helped you get ready to come visit the Grand Teton National Park. Whether you're gonna be hiking or, or rafting or whether you're just gonna be you know, enjoying the views and going around and seeing places like the Chapel of the Transfiguration or some of the cabins that are out here, the history, the beauty, the animals. I hope you have a great time. We know we have had our wonderful time and I want to say thank you to everybody here for watching. Please give us a like if you enjoy these videos. If you want to learn more, we've got videos the don'ts of Wyoming, the don'ts of Yellowstone, what you should eat when you're here in Wyoming, all on our website at waltersworld.com. Also, we want to say a special thank to our patrons on Patreon and our members on YouTube for helping making honest, though loud on the side of the road, travel videos for you. Uh, if you want to learn how you can help support us, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out more or click that join button down below. Bye from Grand Tetons National Park.